What's up, my fellow YouTube viewers? This is Brian of Dual Productions. You should already know that by now. But yeah, my subject on today is a subject that you guys will not see coming. It starts with an M and ends in an M. Hence, does it ring a bell? Uh, what if, I'll just say it. The subject on today is a word I just cannot stand to say. I've been putting it on Twitter, and people that are hip, my followers, y'all should already know what it is. That subject for today is the mainstream. The mainstream, it's a part of our daily lives, but that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be, which is why I'm here today to bring you tips on how to avoid the mainstream and what makes it up. First off, let's talk about what makes up the mainstream. Since it's about to get real serious, I suggest we wind down a bit because it's joke time. Hey, my man. Hey, what's up, B? I got a joke for you. All right, shoot. When does it rain money? Hmm, I don't know. When? When there's change in weather. Oh! Hey, my man. Don't ever tell me that joke again. Hey, my bad, man. My bad. Oh. All right, joke time is officially over. See my face? Over. The mainstream. It consists of three factors, also known as the three M's, which is quite a coincidence. And those factors are music, materialism, and media. The first factor, music. Okay, you got your rappers, your singers, your writers, you know, all that. All right, that's cool because that's part of the factor. But there's one problem about it. Because some artists and rappers, they just don't know how to have originality. The big O, in the mainstream at least, and that word means, you know, having your own stuff, your own style, your own music, your own swag. Some rappers just don't have that. And I feel really, I don't know, some kind of way about that. You got rappers sampling other people's songs, you know, jacking their instrumentals, even stealing other rappers' lyrics. Cough, cough, Lil Wayne. How did Wayne manage to steal one of the lyrics of Odd Future's famous members, Earl Sweatshirt? How? I don't know how he did it, but shouts out to Wheezy for doing that, because I wouldn't have never pulled that off. Oh, but a quick shout out to this football, the red and black Mike Vick 7 edition. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Swat. Okay, moving on. So you got people listening to the same songs. The same song they were playing before sounds like the one they were just now playing and the one they're going to play after. It's very predictable. Y'all should know. Luckily, there's a couple tips in order to avoid that. Tip one, expand your variety on music. Listen to more songs. Don't just listen to the same old thing over and over again and expect something different out of it. Tip two, stop listening to those mainstream songs. Or is that the same thing? But Brian, don't you listen to Lil B? You know, the bass god? Doesn't all his songs sound the same? Well, yes. Yes, I do listen to Lil B. But he can get away with it because, in case y'all didn't notice, he makes songs that will, you know, change the way you think about him. Like MySpace, Walk the World, Sending Shots. Y'all shouldn't judge him by a few of his swag songs, you know, where he says, whoop, whoop, and all that. Nah. I gotta listen to more songs. Stop sleeping on the boss. For real though. And so. Swat. Whoop, 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 swat. Whoop. Snakes is on my crack because I love swoop, whoop, whoop. You done? Yeah, shut up before I knock your head off. Anyways. But yeah, shout out to Lil B, the bass god, megastar, Brandon McCartney. Keep doing your thing, man. Swag. I listen to you, but I'm not based. Moving on. How these songs that usually listen to sound the same. And notice that I didn't say all songs. I said songs, meaning some or most. Preferably most. Why? I don't know. Ask the person down the street. See what his opinion is. I don't care. And the way people be jamming the songs is just so stupid. I'm not even going to use the word I used in my last video. I'm just going to put examples. People be like, I did a ski mask switch. I did a ski mask switch. Move on the cell phone. Black and yellow, black and yellow, yeah. Ah, uh, you know what it is. Black and yellow, black and yellow. 
A second factor, materialism. The word, the way it sounds, we should already know what that's about. You know, clothes, sneakers, designer, name brand, off brand, all that. Stylish, classy, hobo, you know, materialistic things. No life on this earth is worth any type of pair of sneakers. I cannot make that any more clear. People dying over sneakers. People died over the concourse that were released December 23rd, 2011. It's just a sad case, man. People will fiend over materialistic things and think that's more important than life. Like, are you stupid or something like that? Man, God bless you. Some people just don't realize how close-minded they are. Some people just do it for the hype. Others take it a little too seriously. Killing people over a pair of black and white Jordans. How are they going to help you in the future? How are they going to provide you shelter, pay your bills? How are they going to help you, period? The most they'll help you with is another pair on your feet or fitting in for the most. But then you do it just like the person next to you, which is really mainstream. I just understand people these days. May God bless them. Rest in peace to those who died over some shoes. And God bless those people who are overtaken by materialistic things, like seriously. Why Why would you want to look like the person right next to you, wearing the same North Face jacket, same North Face backpack, North Face boots, sneakers, same snapback, same shirt, polos, you know, Lacoste, all that crap. Why would you want to look just like the same person? Does that, that doesn't make you stand out. That's what some people don't get. Go with your flow. If you were born with different opinions than someone else, you go with that because you were born that way. You're going to grow up to be something good. But like trying to fit in with people that look the same, that's just going to ruin your whole life. I got a few tips for that too. Tip one, first of all, quit buying those flashy snapbacks trying to attract females. It's not you attracting females. It's the snapback. Okay? Tip two, quit buying the same shoe only in different colors, especially with the phone posits. In my opinion, you just wasted two hundred dollars. All right. Tip three, and this is the most important one: stop with the tattoos, please. People say it's a way of expressing yourself. Well, sometimes they aren't just made for everyone. Then you're going to have to end up removing it and regretting it. It's going to hurt bad, and that's a waste of money too. I'm just saying. You want to be like this guy and this guy and this dude over there, this dude behind me and this dude next to you, so bad that you end up losing track of who you're really supposed to be, and that is you. But yeah, that ends the second factor, materialism. Moving on to the third factor, media. Okay, media, meaning, you know, phrases, you know, catchphrases, sayings, quotes, people stealing other people's quotes, statuses, all that. And there's one thing I just can't stand when males or females say. If you don't like my tweets, unfollow me. If you don't like my statuses, delete me. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. First off, what about you? Are you going to delete or unfollow someone simply because you don't like their tweets or statuses? <laughs> no, you're still going to have them as a friend or follower simply because you like them as a friend or follower. I mean, your tweets are still basic. Your statuses are still basic. We still like you as a friend, though. Just your stuff is basic. So don't start assuming that we're going to delete you as a friend or unfollow you on Twitter. Oh, we don't like your tweets, so we're just going to delete you. No. So stop being so paranoid, okay? Don't tempt us to do so either. Some of us actually listen to y'all, and in the end, we're the ones feeling stupid. Oh, dang, man. She said on Facebook to the leader. Dang, I'm about to delete that. Boop. Delete it. Oh, dang. On Twitter, she said unfollow her. Dang, she go hard. Boop. <laughs> Whoops. This guy. See, that's what I mean. Don't allow others to persuade you to do things that you're going to end up regretting. But yeah, shout out to Team Brown Skin, Milk Chocolate, Hershey Bars. We melt out this joint, you feel me? Yes. But anyways, I'm Brian with 50 Blue of Dual Production. Where did my glove go? Oh. Anyways, I'm Brian with 50 Blue of Dual Productions. Follow me on Twitter at CodenameBPD. Peace out, y'all.